We love hosting cocktail parties because it makes it fun for the hostess. You entertain your friends. It's simple. And so we're going to share what works for us. Since it's a cocktail party, duh, of course, you've got to come up with a great cocktail to keep the fun going. And we love to do a batch cocktail because it frees you as the hostess to spend time with your guests. In planning your menu, we think it's really important that you have at least one hot appetizer and you can add a beautiful charcuterie board, which if you haven't seen our video, we did one before on easy appetizers. We also included a couple of other appetizers like uh, a salmon and um, you know some the nuts, everybody loves that. But also make sure to include something that's sweet because everybody loves a little treat. So you've planned your cocktail, you have decided on the menu, now you need to send out your invites. So you can always just send out a text message, but I think it's a little more special when you actually create um, like an evite. So I love using this app. It is so user friendly. You can pick the event, the size, you can even change the colors to be themed. And it's so easy because you can save it and then send it out in a big group text message. You can send it out as an email. It's good to go so everybody knows all the details for your party. Decor is so important because it really does set the mood, the theme. I like to plan decor at least a couple of weeks in advance. Um, if you don't have that kind of time, that's totally okay. You can always go through things that you already own. Um, so it's important just to change it for the season. We are hosting a, a cocktail party tonight. So you'll see that our setup is a little more holiday themed. With some switch, like some switch outs and some easy tailoring, it could be used for any season. Serving platters obviously are very important. Just use what you have. They don't have to match. They just can coordinate. And um, I do recommend keeping maybe some varying heights on your platters so it makes the table look interesting and pretty. It's the night before the cocktail party and a lot of the food prep and actually the drink can all be done the night before so you're not stressed out. But one of our favorite tips for the day before is we really recommend tidying up the house and cleaning the bathroom that your guests are gonna use. That way it's clean, they can go in there. Um, and another thing is we like recommending is putting extra toilet paper. Um, we put ours in a basket just so that your guests are comfortable and have everything that they need. So it's the day of our party and a suggestion is to have a place for people to put their belongings on. And I know we put a bench, we just moved it from the bedroom to the entryway and what that, that's, re well, that's really important yeah but another thing that's really important because it sets the mood is some good music there are so many different um apps or things available that you can play music from so i like to just pick a station that i can hook up through but my home does have surround sound um, and i know yours i have the sono system which i highly recommend so definitely it really does set the mood and it gets guests excited um, when the party starts. And speaking of the mood, don't forget candles because it is so important for your house to smell amazing and that can really uh, get the vibe, the, the vibe that you want. We'll actually link our favorite candle down below. And something that is totally optional, but we like to do it, we are doing a take-home gift for all of our guests. So we set up a really cute acrylic table. We actually just moved it from another area of the home to the entrance so that we can hand our guests a gift right before they leave. Speaking of guests, they're almost here, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel, ring that notification bell, that way you'll know when our next video comes up, and make sure to follow us on Instagram so you can see all the behind the scenes and sneak peeks uh, for our next video. See you in our next one.